Hi, I'm Mike Stanton. It's August 13th. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update. I'm here with Dan Bingham and David Young from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. Thank you for being here, gentlemen. Uh, Dan, we missed a week last week. Uh, so since our last update, uh, yields have moved fairly significantly. I think it's almost about 15 basis points on the Treasury tenure. What are you seeing in the markets? What's behind that? Sure. And, and, and what's interesting, uh, which captured a lot of market participants' uh, attention this week, was the auction 10s and 30s auction and the 10 year um, was actually the strongest auction in 10 years. Um, levels came three basis points through expectations. Um, uh, it all reversed course on the uh, 30 year where, which came a little bit sloppy. But as you mentioned, even with that strength on the 10 year auction, we saw yields backing up and uh, almost uh, 20 to 25 basis points wider uh, than the lows we had seen a couple of weeks ago. Um, in the municipal market, in typical fashion, uh, higher rates uh, makes everyone nervous. The first couple basis points is fine, but when you start getting uh, 20, 25 basis point moves, people become nervous. And a bunch of deals this week um, were used the terms in the marketplace of were hung up, yields had to be changed, uh, uh, prices were cut, yields, uh, some deals were actually downsized. And on uh, once the bonds freed to trade, uh, there was actually quotes in the marketplace of wider spreads versus uh, the new issue pricing. So first time that we've seen in a, in a, in a little while here um, where the market felt a little heavy, felt a little sloppy um, and you, uh, surprising in, in that, um, you know, flows into the funds continue to be uh, pretty robust, even in this uh, August slowdown. Right. So you're not necessarily seeing that concern from the retail investor yet. Yeah, exactly. There's still still good demand, but on the on the larger institutional side, which really influences price, I think there was a little bit of a pause that's at, that worked its way into the market. Is is there any change in economic fundamental thinking? You know, there there was a, a more moderated uh, inflation report this week, but I think are people still looking at the fall for kind of the real numbers? You know, if the the combination of uh, I'll say three things that are uh, really have everyone's focus is um, the economic environment and how things are going to evolve, the uh, Fed and what's going to happen with the uh, uh, prospect of passing the uh, additional stimulus plans, um, taxes associated with that, the potential of tax increases associated with that. But what's got everyone's focus and the Fed officials are are sort of marching out in unison. Um, is the uh, August meeting uh, at Jackson Hole uh, where they could announce some sort of taper, um, but most people expect it, it, it to be officially announced at the September uh, meeting uh, where they'll su uh, start to taper or reduce their asset purchases. So it's, there's a lot going on uh, for people to make, uh, you know, have their opinions about. So, David, in the meantime, uh, the new issue market marches on. What uh, kind of activity and new transactions did you see this week? Yeah, so uh, this week's media supply came in uh, as expected at around eight and a half billion dollars, uh, which is also in line with the 2021 average. Um, BAM had a really solid week, ensuring 23 series for a total par of $242 million. Um, that was led by a $68 million AA3 tax exempt and a $15 million A1 taxable Topeka. Uh, Kansas utility transaction in the competitive space. Um, R.W. Baird uh, bought both of those. Um, there was a $28 million Howitzum City, Texas transaction purchased by R.W. Baird again in the competitive space. And uh, lastly, a $19 million Hamden, Connecticut transaction priced by Rick James. And looking ahead to next week, uh, what uh, what's on your calendar? Yeah, so next week, um, volume is expected to, to kind of pick back up with about $10.5 billion coming to market. Um, majority of that supply, as we've seen kind of all year, is concentrated in transactions with um, $100 million, uh, and greater in par um, with names like New York City, Miami-Dade County, uh, and Kansas Development Finance Authority, or the KDFA. Um, which kind of leads me into BAM's activity next week, um, where we're expected to be used on um, at least a portion of that uh, city's $500 million KDFA transaction. Um, and then we also have uh, kind of in the pipeline, the $45 million Hall Township School District, Illinois, led by Bernardi, and a $19 million Northeast Ohio Medical University, led by Stiefel. 
And that KDFA transaction illustrates some of the big trends we've seen uh, so far in the market that's both uh, taxable and high rated. So uh, it shows the increased utilization of, uh, of insurance on higher yield transactions or uh, high rated transactions uh, across the market, right? Right. So Dan, before we go, uh, I, I understand you were out, uh, you're back on the road uh, with some client entertainment this week. Uh, what, uh, what highlights from your trips? Yeah, man, I'm, I touched on the uh, tenure and the uh, strength of the tenure auction. Um, we were out at the Cubs game on Wednesday, Wednesday night. It was not a great game if you're a Cubs fan, um, but we were lucky enough to catch the home run ball in the ninth, ninth inning uh, to uh, put the Brewers up by 10, 10 nothing at that point. Um, but one of, our one, one of our colleagues caught the home run ball, which is pretty fun. And that was a uh, that was a hard hit line drive that could have done some damage. And uh, like a true insurer, uh, Don Farrell, our head of investor relations, stepped up and protected the group from uh, from any further harm. <laughs> Thanks for your time, guys. We'll uh, talk next week. Great, thank you. Thanks, Mike. Investing in America's infrastructure drives our country forward. Municipal bonds help strengthen America's backbone and connect us all through essential investment in local opportunities. At Build America Mutual, we maximize the safety and stability of municipal bond investments. That means a bright future for our communities and investors' portfolios. Learn more about the exceptional security of BAM-insured bonds 